Good morning, good morning, good morning, and what a beautiful day that it is. Um, isn't it a beautiful day? I am full of the joys of it was spring, I'd be full of the joys of spring today. And I think for this week, we're nearly at Friday and going, is it all right to come out yet? <laughs> is it okay to come out? Because this week has been a bit hairy for quite a few and um, it never escapes my house either. There has been a lot of stuff bubbling up to the surface for people. And I, I put a post on during the week that if you are the reciprocant of anger, of words that are spewing out, it's not yours. It is not yours. Now, is it easy to bear that in mind at the time when somebody sends something to you? Absolutely not. No, it's not. But it uh, it will come at us. And I think from those maybe the dearest and nearest and dearest to us that it can pierce and it can hurt. But this is where you have the control. And this is where we witness it and take a look at this. And remember, this is not of me. But the best thing that I can do for this person, it obviously needs released is to send that peace and love when you eventually step away. It's not that easy at the time to do it, but step away if you're doing meditation or anything. Because could you imagine spending your day or spending your life being totally controlled by your mind, by your thoughts, by your past, destroying everything that is in the present moment because of past things, remembrance of old hurts, and some people are, can do that easily and effortlessly for themselves. Destroy the present by allowing the mind to control rather than taking that power themselves. And it is not easy to get to that place. But it's something I think through repetition, learning and repetition and repeating it and witnessing it and experiencing it and getting through it and recognising you've come through that and say, well done. <laughs> Well done. But anyway, yes, this week I I think for a lot, they were felt that they were surrounded by quite a bit of negativity coming in. And how do I stop this from affecting me? How do I stop this from hurting me? And the steps basically is to say, number one, try in your mind and think, this is not mine. It is not mine. Number two, if the same thing keeps repeating, 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 maybe a different person today, maybe a different person tomorrow, maybe maybe it's just different events, then perhaps just, look, is there something that I need to change within me? Because it happened in our house the other night, or the other day that somebody awoke in a very, very bad mood and everything that came to them made them angry, made them angry, made them angry, until their day finished with a bang. And I actually mean it finished with a bang. <laughs> while driving and it took for that for them to sit and realize and look back and think yeah now I see how my day occurred the way it did because I gave my power I gave my control I gave that away I believed that people were making me angry I believe because this didn't go according to plan I was entitled to be angry but in putting that energy out and spitting it out and wishing ill to others and being angry with others, it's the way that the law is. It must return to you. So anyway, I think it's safe enough to come out and play today. Last night now, before I was getting ready to go to bed, there's been so much coming in, different wee bits and pieces this week, but a song came into my head and I didn't know the words of the song, but the start of it. Now, I'm ready to get to bed. And then this comes in. And then I say, oh, I have to look this up. Because I know there's something in this that I need to hear or read about. And the song was Simon and Garfunkel's song, um, The Sound of Silence. You know the start of it? Hello, darkness, my old friend. So, out, the lights are on again. Pen and paper come out. So I want to read these out to you here. A few of them. And I'll not sing it. But uh, Paul Simon had said, wrote about this in an interview, or said this in an interview, that why that song was written and how, how significant it is. And I am so blessed that I sat down and wrote this last night, that we have people unable to touch other people, unable to love other people, 
The sound of silence is about the inability to communicate. Isn't that amazing? And so, so I'm going to read out a couple of these verses and I know you'd probably be singing them over in your head. So it's, hello darkness my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains. Now, that word sleeping, because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. The unawakened, where the mind is just allowing and controlling and guiding us. That's that sleep state. How many of us are still walking about with eyes wide shut? Those seeds were planted. And now the fruition, the development of that, and we our brain continues to regurgitate, recycle, relive it over and over while we were sleeping. But when we awaken to that, that which we are, the power that which we are, it all changes. And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening. People writing songs that voices never share. No one dared disturb the sound of silence. And I thought, by Jesus, we'll disturb the sounds of silence. Because again, isn't that an amazing thing? Because we can talk and we think we're listening and we're talking. I think it's when it's about me and not about the we. And that's when I would always say to sit in your silence, to receive your answers, to hear what it is you're to hear. A different silence the sound of silence, that hollowness, that emptiness, that void, that searching that is within. Because again, we have allowed this to guide us, to rule us, the outside every time. And the last bit, fools, said I, you do not know silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. But my words, like silent raindrops, fell and echoed in the wells of silence. And I love that last verse. Hear my words that I may teach you. Take my arms that I may reach you. You are always surrounded. You are walked with. It is within you. But it's this tick, 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 the seeds that have been planted that are saying you're an individual. You are by yourself. You're not attached to anything else. You are only what you can see. And that is lies. So any time if that negativity comes in or pumps in, this will start tick, tick, ticking. How dare they speak to me like that? Why are they talking? I need to say this. I need to do this. I need to be right. And I need to shout. Because I need them to hear. The sound of silence where people are talking and no listening. We think we're listening. We think we're talking. But it's about us. So anyway, I thought that was very, very significant, especially for this week, to send love and light to every single person because it's such a place to live when you live in your head. It is not a great place to live. And I have been there and I have lived there and I have allowed it to guide me. But to step away from that and to know and to trust and to feel, okay, I'm just going to be guided. Just be, just be in that state of peace and bliss. So, but I'm going to finish this on a real good note because I don't want that song tick, tick, ticking in your head. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm going to finish off with a great bit of news. And by the way, if anyone wants to come on, hit the green button because I want to bring you on and say hello to you. Great news last night. The Canary Islands are now on the safe list for anyone wishing to travel. So I thought I would convert Hello Darkness to Hello Sunshine because, oh, let's get it on. Hello Sunshine, my old friend, I hear you calling once again. Although my nails and waxing needs done, (laughs) the quarantine, there is none. I have my flip-flops, I have my bikini. And my passport, that's all I need. And I say thank you to Jet too. (laughs) 
I'd rather have hello sunshine than hello darkness. Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And yeah, I wanted to sing this morning in the car. Joy to the world. I don't even know the rest of the words. Words. But that's all that came out. Joy to the world. Because I think this is a time of celebration. I absolutely believe there's celebration to be had. Take your power back. Believe in yourself. Know what is within you. And celebrate. Celebrate your life today and the rest of your life. Have a wonderful day and a beautiful weekend. God bless.